Welcome to Wine Times. I think we've got a real winner here for you now. We've just found a new discovery that's new to both John and I, and we're getting pretty excited about this. It's Chateau de la Roulerie, Anjou, Loire Valley, 2009, 13% alcohol. Um, brand new to me. I had never come across this before. It's Chenin Blanc, uh, it's, which is a, a local grape in the Loire Valley from the Anjou area. And um, I think we're going to try this because we were taken aback, not expecting this one at all. So let's try this, John. Please. There you go. Thank you. First thing you see is that deep color. Great, great color. There's subtle spices, sort of peaches on the nose. Definitely, definitely. See, why we got so excited is I think there's a huge element of boredom creeping into the amount of Sauvignon Blancs available on the market. Even Pinot Grigio is getting a bit overdone. Sometimes Chardonnay is overcooked as well. Different. You will not find this on every other wine website. You have to go searching for this. But we've kind of spent a lot of time looking for it, found this one, and we think let's taste it and uh, confirm with the, the nose because it God really comes that. across nosy. Now oh, that's great, actually. Really, really crisp. Um, very, very dry finish now, Barry. Not suitable for some people. Great with food. Lots of different foods. What sort of foods, John? Where can well, you Well, I mean, obviously the white meat, chicken, turkey, shellfish, um, even, I don't know, wok fried chickens, anything Beautiful, with spices. Yeah, yeah. Anything with spices. So I think what we're saying is this is a flexible wine. The bone dryness mightn't appeal to everybody, but that actually just makes it a great wine for food. But not really pigeonholed. Sometimes wine is just a specific type of food. Here we're finding, you know, this could work with a lot. It's got so much going on, which makes it really, really interesting. Now, this is not your aperitif. This is not sipping in the garden beforehand because it's so dry. It's just your salivary gland is actually drying up too quickly. But what it is good for is with food. So one of our Wine Times menus will really work with this and we'll find a lot of dishes that will work very well. Honestly, I'd have to say, for me, the find of the month. Yeah, I was going to say that the Wine Times have a section for that, do we? Absolutely. Thank you.